Okay, sweetheart, let's do the work. I am heartbroken with Mane because he gave up on me. So what is the situation? Well, I'm flying actually to the Clint's and I hear this song that I used to sing to him in the airplane and that it's all about mm. you're my love and my happiness and like yeah. my life, you know? So you're on the flight and you're hearing this song. And it just like, I start mm -hmm. feeling miserable. And you have the judgment that you're heartbroken because, because he gave up on you. Is it true? So some of you will really get this. You're sitting on the flight. You hear the music. You're heartbroken because he gave up on you. Is that why you're heartbroken? No. Why are you heartbroken? Because I'm seeing images of everything that could have been. So what broke your heart? Was it him? No. Absolutely not. Notice how you react on that flight when you hear this song. Notice how you react when you think the thought, he, I'm heartbroken because he gave up on me. You want some sadness in your life? Believe your thoughts. You know, in other words, go to a good movie. No, don't bother going. You're already there. Oh, yes. Yeah, I completely crying in the, in the plane during this big movie. Um, mm. I get like completely sad. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're a victim immediately. Mm -hmm. And it's his fault, this man you love. I feel hopeless. Mm. It's so unfair. I just start getting like mad at the, at the mm. world. Okay, I'm heartbroken because he gave up on me. Now listen to the music, look out the window, notice the seat on the plane, look around as you listen to the music without the thought, without the images in your head. In other words, without the thought, I'm heartbroken because he gave up on me. Look at reality instead. It's always kinder than imagination. Who would you be without the thought, I'm heartbroken because he gave up on me as you listen to the music? I would be singing. Yeah. I love that song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's turn it around. I'm heartbroken because... I... I gave up on... On him. On him. Oh, I, I can see clearly how many times I gave up on him. Yeah. So, what is the opposite of heartbroken? Mm -hmm. Grateful? Yeah. I'm grateful because he didn't give up on me. Now, look at those times in your life where he really should have and he didn't. and spend an hour in that. <laughs> I mean, he did. Okay, so statement two. I want Mane to see me, to give me another chance, to open his heart. I want only him, or I only want him, and I want him to understand me. Okay, so you want him to see you. Is it true? When you consider the information you've just discovered, you want him to see you. Is it true? You know where I go with this? Sitting in that last meditation? He did see me. That's why he left. I want him to see me. What me would that be? He hasn't even met this one. So you see, all, all, all this takes is stillness. Just get still, sit, and this is intimacy. The mind understanding itself. So you want him to see you. Just consider that. 
You want your best behavior? <laughs> it's not enough. And it could be you're not ready for him to see you, and the fact that he doesn't is a reprieve. It gives you a chance to understand yourself before you inflict it on him again to really get right with yourself. I want him to see me. Another turnaround. Um, I want me to see him. Yeah. I think I see him. I, I think he's, I see that he's very hurt and that he's not trustful. Yeah. And I keep on punishing for that. I want him to see me. Another turnaround. I want me. I want me to see me. Yeah, before he sees you. How can I see me? See him the way you see you. And then when you walk to the kitchen for a drink of water, see you. What are you thinking from the couch to the faucet? See you. Because that's who he's going to see until you love you from the, from the chair to the faucet to get a drink of water until you love what you're thinking there's work to do he doesn't love me so I'm unlovable he doesn't want to see me I'm someone that doesn't want to be seen you understand this is this really self-judgment isn't it so, I want him to see me. What is the opposite of I want? I don't want mm, him, to, him see, to see me. Not yet. Why? Because it's still all about you. It's not about what he wants. It's all about you. It's not about who he wants to be with. It's all about you. That's no kind of partner for him if it's true you love him. Not yet. So, you want him to give you another chance. Is that true? Are you ready for that? Do you like you from the chair to the sink? Mm -mm, not yet. He's looking pretty wise now, isn't he? I want him to give me another chance. Mm, I want me to give me another chance. Like, yes. That's the most important part for me right now. Yes. From the chair to the sink, you've got another chance. Because it's still all about him. Like, if he doesn't forgive me, then everything that I've done is, like, worthless. So I'm still mm. clinging and being codependent on him. Yeah, and doing the work with a motive. I want him to open his heart. You want him to open his heart. Knowing you, is that true? <laughs> mm. Now, when you're doing this work, it's not knowing me and saying, you know, I'm such a bad person, not yet. It's from the information you just saw clearly on your worksheet, that's what you're responding out of. So you want him to open his heart to you. Is that true? And how do you react? What happens when you believe the thought, I want him to open his heart to me? I resent him. And who would you be without the thought? So look around, the music's playing, you're in your seat, you're on a flight, you're coming to the cleanse. Look out the window, look around. I would be grateful mm -hmm. of, of being in such good company. Yes. I want him to open his heart to me, turn it around. I don't want him to open his heart to me. Yeah, he's not on the flight. <laughs> and it's conditional love, isn't it? I want you to open your heart to me so I don't have to change my behavior. I want you to pretend I'm someone I'm not yet. 
In other words, someone I'm pretending to be. And when I mean not yet, I mean in my own awareness. We're waking up to who we really are, and that is just... It's so beautiful, there really are no words. We have words that fall short, and love comes to mind. Perfect comes to mind. I want him to open his heart to me, another turn around. I want me to open my heart to me. That's why. That's where it's at. That's it. That's what you were using him for, anyway. You don't need him for that. You feel what an open heart feels like? Oh, he never gave you that. I want him to open his heart to me, another turn around. I want me... To open my heart to him. Yeah, who brought you this, this love just now. You only want him, is that true? No. <laughs> uh, no, I think you found a better partner. So... Um, I think I only want him, but the truth, no. 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 Nothing can substitute for what's really true for you. The, the true cause of happiness. And it doesn't mean you don't have wonderful relationships. It's just that when you're with someone, your mind is as beautiful as it is from the chair to the, to the sink. You want him to understand you, is that true? He understands enough about you. You want him to understand you, is it true? No. No. When you look at this work as your own, is it possible that another human being could understand you? It's like, Stephen, understand me, I don't know how. And then when he understands me, I punish him. It would be like that. So I want him to understand me. How do you react? What happens when you believe that thought on the flight and you're in that movie? There are other movies on the flight. <laughs> but not as good as yours. <laughs> of course. Uh, um, in your movie, it's so real, there's frustration, there are tears, and it's authentic, and you're the star. There's music, man. <laughs> there's Have music. The music the <laughs> Your favorite soundtrack. <laughs> uh, how, how do I react? Oh, yeah, I'm a victim again. I'm a victim again. Yeah. I'm completely like, oh, he doesn't know where I'm at. Yeah. And also, he says you're wrong and you criticize. And he says, you think this about me and you're so asleep. You say, no, I don't. And yes, you do. <laughs> so uh, I want him to understand me. I want me to understand me. Isn't that it? Yeah. And it's tough enough when you're the only one that can. Let's look at the next one. <laughs> 